What's going on guys, it's Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video. Now this is another Mythical Monday video. Thank you all first of all to everybody that's locked into the Mythical Monday videos. Um, they've been going down really well so far like I said in the last video. So please just continue to support them and the rest of the content on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Now let's talk about this fight here. This would be a tremendous fight and it would be a huge one in Puerto Rico. Because these two guys are probably two of you know the generations um, most popular Puerto Rican stars. Uh, we've got had a long list of uh, popular Puerto Rican fighters down the line, but um, Felix Trinidad and Miguel Cotto uh, really for this generation have you know gone even gone even further. You know they've really attracted more Puerto Rican fans in the sport, and uh, both of them had a mass following, especially Felix Trinidad. Now, what would happen if these two ever fought in a ring against each other? Now, Felix Trinidad was a tremendous fighter. He is one that will definitely, if he hasn't already, he'll definitely go down in the Hall of Fame. I'm sure he has. Um, he was a tremendous welterweight with frightening punching power. He was so exciting to watch Felix Trinidad, man, because he was, he had that power to knock you out, but he was, he could be chinny at times as well. Like he could be dropped. Like we've seen him drop plenty of times in his career, Felix Trinidad. But what was exciting about him was that he got up to win and he really had the crowd behind him. Like he rallied the crowd and the crowd was so passionate in support of Felix Trinidad. It was one of the most loyal like fan bases I've seen in boxing in recent times. Like that's how much people really love Felix Trinidad. And he wore a tart on his sleeve. You know, he represented Puerto Rico. And um, he was a terrific fighter. He had a solid jab. And um, he was quite tall and lanky for a welterweight before eventually moving into light middleweight and then middle. Um, but he had a detonating of a right hand. Like, it was so powerful. And um, he took people out. You know, like, if you go back and watch some of Felix Trinidad's fights from when he was in his prime against the likes of, you know, like, in, in his career, he was just brilliant with his right hand. I remember when he moved up to middleweight and took on William Joppy before uh, facing Bernard Hopkins in the World Middleweight Boxing uh, Tournament that was ho hosted by Don King. And, um, you know, Trinidad brought his power up. He knocked out William Joppy. It was a tremendous performance. I remember when he fought the likes of Fernando Vargas when they were both young in their career. Uh, Vargas was undefeated at the time. He was destined for big things, an Olympian. Uh, Felix Trinidad was also undefeated. But, you know, um, it was a brilliant fight. And there was five knockdowns in that fight. And Trinidad, uh, I think he scored like four of them. So that just shows how much of a great fight it was. But... Uh, Felix Trinidad was terrific to watch, man, and um, he had power in that hand. Trust me, he was a brilliant fighter. But Miguel Cotto, on the other hand, I'd say he had more... Um, he didn't have the same sort of punching power as Felix Trinidad, but I'd say that his technique was slightly sharper in terms of he had a crouching style, he had a terrific attack to the body and head, and, um, you know, we've seen it over the past. He started off his career smaller than uh, Felix Trinidad, so he came up with weight divisions, and eventually he uh, resided at welterweight light middle. And, um, you know, Miguel Cotto, has, he will also go down in the Hall of Fame. He will also go down as a fighter that, you know, attracted the masses and really got the Puerto Rican crowd going. I remember P um, Miguel Cotto's fight against Zab Judah in Madison Square Garden. Uh, the Puerto Rican Day Parade was like the day after or so. And, um, yeah, like the crowd in there was buzzing. And um, Miguel Cotto was really stepping into his prime around that time, in my opinion. Um, he was moving up to welterweight from light, light welter. Uh, Zab Judah was an established pro. This was seen as the toughest fight of Miguel Cotto's career. Uh, Miguel Cotto went in there and, um, you know, after a, t a good, strong first few rounds for Zab, Miguel Cotto went on to dominate and then ended up knocking him out. Uh, Miguel Cotto was a brilliant fighter, but he also showed that he could be caught. You know, he's also shown that he could be hurt. And um, that's why I think that this fight would have been very exciting because both men got the power to take you out, but both men can also be hurt. So how would this fight have gone between Felix Trinidad and Miguel Cotto? I would have favoured Felix Trinidad to win it simply because I think he's, um, he's the taller man and I think that he'd have been able to detonate that right hand on Miguel Cotto possibly early. Um, I'm not saying that he would have stopped Miguel Cotto early, but the power in his hand, Felix Trinidad, was something else. And... Um, you know, I think that he would have landed it and I think he could have taken Cotto out. But Cotto also has a great body attack and maybe he would have been able to get inside and work Tito's body. But again, it would be dangerous because the right hands and, and a stiff jab from Trinidad coming back 
would have been opposed to problem for Cotton, no doubt about it. But um, it would have been an exciting fight. It would have really got all of Puerto Rico watching. And um, I want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on it. I want to hear what you guys think. How would you break that down, that fight to me? Like, how would you see it going? But um, yeah, I think that Trinidad, I would have loved to have seen him box in this era. I would have loved to have seen him go in against some of the welterweights that we have on show today. The likes of Errol Spence, Keith Furman, um, Manny Pacquiao. Like, you know, like I would, Sean Porter. I would have loved to have seen Felix Trinidad in this era go up against those sort of guys because we have seen him being outboxed before against Bernard Hopkins, obviously, and um, against De La Hoya. A lot of people thought he lost that fight when it went to points and he got the decision. De La Hoya was boxing very well off the back foot, but in the last few rounds, he sort of gave it away by, you know, not really engaging Trinidad at all. And that resulted in Trinidad getting the decision. But how would Trinidad have fought against these fighters today? But we'll save that for another video. I want to know what you guys think about him against Cotto. I would have picked Trinidad to win, but I want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions more importantly. So drop them in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about it. I'll catch you on the next one.